Well, what was your pathway to making ITM Cup? Where, where did it all start out for you, group wise for Harbour? Uh, pretty much started um, just playing the age age grades uh, in Harbour. Um, played Bill McLaren in uh, under 14s and 16s in uh, secondary schools. That's where it all um, started. Just um, trying to make it there and. And once I got my trial for under 19s uh, New Zealand, um, because I was playing a bit of senior rugby uh, here at Marist, um, it helped me to um, you know get get some good game time and selection in the under 19s. And then um, with that, um, having a bit of experience in the national team. Can you uh, can you think back to a memory from uh, your Harbour Dean's days uh, that that's memorable to you? Uh, for me, it will definitely be just whenever we beat Auckland. <laughs> that was always uh, my favourite. And, um, they always expected to beat us and to give us a hiding just for where these, uh, you know, these white other guys are just going to roll us. But yeah, whenever we, we beat Auckland was uh, something to cherish because uh, yeah, we were always the underdogs. Uh, Talk to us a little bit about the sacrifices you had to make from uh, that sort of being 18 years old to uh, get to where you've been uh, now with your rugby. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of sacrifices like um, you know not not really going out too much, just uh, make make sure you do the extras and um, working on the individual skills. Um, you know, I used to want to just play on the PlayStation and stuff, but my old man used to um, come and turn it off and tell me to get off the couch and. Go for a road run, and uh, back then uh, I don't really like it. But when I look at it now, it, it really helped me in um, my fitness space, and especially when we, whenever we have uh, fitness testings, and um, you know, it really prepared me for that. Just um, you know, doing my extras before helped me to get the results after that. That um, you know, made me stand out for selectors whenever, whenever we had those testings. And uh, if you had one piece of advice for an up-and-coming player, what, what would that be? Uh, just think, uh, you know, work hard. Make sure you um, work, work on your individual skills. And, um, you know, whenever you get selected in a team, you don't know whether you're going to get much game time or whatever. But um, it's just uh, the same thing what Doug Howlett said to me when I first made Blues. I wasn't playing much game, but he said to, you know, keep my head down, keep keep training hard and my time will come and then when, when your opportunity comes you just gotta um, gotta take it with both fans and, and make the most of it. Yep. Cool. Thanks for your time Rudy.